Hello, my name is Matthias and welcome to a new episode of Cosmeteers. As you can see, we changed up my ship a lot. I got a new ship because I couldn't get a good one. And I tried a lot of ships. There are some really crappy ships in here and there are some really good ships in here. But I only had 500,000 credits to spend. So yeah, we've got this one. And it's a pretty nice ship. It's depending on gun bullets. It got a lot of factories inside here making the bullets. And let me show you how this beauty flies. It's it's fast. It's pretty fast. And its main dependent is their frontal gun. It's got ooh we've and it also got rear guns, but they're not really of any use so this is an iron gun ship so why isn't my ship firing should give them the full beam i guess because this one is for change pretty fast oh my god they mixed themselves up oh that was quite funny oh my god my frontal the ship is pretty blown up, so let's get out of here because I'm getting a little bit in trouble. Let's use my booster to get away from here, to get out of combat. And let's get out of this guy's way. Because only when we are in combat I can repair, so... With my total front destroyed, there isn't much I can do. So that was a lot of money, cost me a lot of money to fix that. But the booster is a real lifesaver. So let's first take down the other guy in the front there. Let's see what, if I can take that one down. Because I want to make a little bit more money and get myself a second ship. Alright, so there he is, and somehow I moved a little bit too close there. Alright, this one we should be able to take down pretty fast. As you can see, this time my ship is working effectively. And it's just blasting through the sky. Right. So the main problem with this ship is that we we are losing ammo quite fast. So we are blowing a lot of sh ships uh, up. But once we're in combat and we don't have any ammunition left, the factories can't keep up with the need. So let's try and get that one. Right, we should be nearing it. All right, this is quite an interesting concept. So let's just focus on the middle and blast our command ship right away. As I expected, and if the core is not protected, it's pretty easy. All right, now. And let's get ourselves a second ship because that was what I wanted to do all along. And I wanted something with this one. It's so amazing. It's, it's looking so cool, but we can't afford it. Falling Star, Gate Crasher. Which one are we going to take? As a second ship, I guess the Phalanx Medium Escort could be a nice ship. Alright, so now let's learn about formations. This ship is based on lasers only with two big guns. It got one factory. So the main problem of this ship will be, let's take a look at this. Yeah, as I expected, power. Power is the main problem, and well, we can fix that pretty fast by doing some minor adjustments. 
that way, that way, and then we are going to put a power supply. So most ships that you see in there have their own problems, but they can be fixed pretty easily. And this one does have another one, and it's got no shields. So prohibited area. No crew access, all right, we can fix that one also. And we can put a shield in here that will take the power immediately to the next level, but I need a good escort ship. I don't need something I can't rely on. So, we've got ourselves some protection here, we got some frontal shields. Alright, let's learn about formations. To teleflit ship to fly in formation, select at least two ships and click. Alright, so let's go out of the build screen, let's click two ships and we've got the formation screen. And let's set flight orders. Self-destruct isn't the smartest thing to do. And I guess, yeah, I guess we're going to use basic formations. And let's see if this time we are able to take that ship down because I we almost got shut down. So this guy got his, would be nice if I could get two of these. My ship is way faster, so he I guess he got some problems keeping up. And this is kind of annoying because they are now mixed up in each other and that's not what I want. Alright. Let's see if we can get them to do what we want them to do. Alright, there he is coming. Somehow the formation is making it so the second ship needs to keep up and yeah, it's, it's not perfect because that one's keeping his distance and that could get us killed. So let's select them. Can we make a line formation something like that or should we just move them out of formation that would be also a good thing to do all right now let's pause this up and the biggest problem with this ship was to penetrate that beam and my ship does need to get close to do real damage all right so it's done 17 damage to that one and no damage to that one all right, I'm not a real fan of the formation yet because somehow these ships don't really go in the right formation. All ships. And let them. Does this thing even have an FTL drive? Yes, it does. Lucky. All right, engage. All right, now let's see if we can do this a little bit harder. So we are flying information again. My ship is going way faster. You shouldn't use your booster, I guess. No, you're not using your booster. All right, so we got two unknown bogies. You should slow down. All right, let's take a look. That one, I guess this is their main ship. And let the second one 
focus on that one. Right now, boat ships should focus on the flotsam. Is having a hard time. We're missing a lot. Uh, that's not a good thing. Slow the speed down a little bit. Because I want their their guns taken down, and now you can see the weakness of my ship. It, once we're out of ammo, we are out of ammo, and that's that's kind of the crappy part of this ship. All right, I'm not quite fond of this one. I'm going to sell it. Going to sell it for 120. All right, let's repair only minor damage done and let's get ourselves a second new ship. And the pity is you can't see what their main gun, I see two guns, main guns there, but I can't really calculate if what's their strength. So I'm thinking of two of these Bolo Reapers would be pretty nice. But I can't do two of those yet. So we're working on that. The dead dealer died. Dying dead dealer? No, that, that sounds kind of crappy. What's this? The fortune. Alright, that's our boss. This is an interesting concept. Alright, let's take a look at this concept. Let them first power up everything, that way I can easily see what is going on in this ship. So we got some main thrusters there and there. We got some shields, frontal shields, that's a good thing. Rear shield, we got a lot of small lasers, so this is kind of close range ship. And what are your weaknesses and what are your strengths? You've got low power. Are we in combat? No, we're not. Sound liked it. Was like we were in combat. Uh, your main problem is power. Alright. So you got pretty much enough crew members. So let's put this one down. We we move you one to that side and I want that door on a different side and this often happens if you forget to do the door thing alright now let's try and fix the power problem uh, why is there a this is this is a power problem I guess if you just put two of the, these in there there shouldn't be any problem and I can even swap in a bunk with some extra people all right now let's take a look at this ship because now we have plenty of people and your main engines should be operational pretty fast I am oh, there it is two already incoming all right so we've got one with main gun the fortune is going to take on this guy and focus on their main guns then my second ship the Baylor reaper is going to rip the falling star apart let's slow it down to a half because i'm not sure what is going to happen because they're already shooting and mine aren't All right, so you got, oh, you got an iron beam in there. Didn't see that one. Then if you got an iron beam, power is your main focus, that's for sure. But somehow the Reaper is falling behind a little bit. All right. 
right, now our Reaper is... Oh yeah, we're half speed. Reaper is focusing on the right target, the Falling Star. Now you should keep up too. Put in your thrusters because you were one hell of a fast ship. I noticed with that many thrusters. You should be able to... To gain momentum quite fast. And as you see, this is more of an interesting ship. It got quite some boosters. The problem is the power. But that doesn't mean it's it's bad. Alright, now let's take down this one. I'm not sure what this is because it's a one contact. The other ones are always two. And this is veteran level. So we also got elite level. And elite level is quite harder in in uh, Cosmoteer. I must say, this is really... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. We are getting a little bit of problem. Let's back off, back off, back off. Oh, great goodness. Both of you, put on your boosters and get the hell out of there because three ships is kind of bit too much. This is an interesting one. It's got multiple tubes in it so we should all right so we are out of here and you go all the way up there all right this is not going to work you are going to turn around and we are going in for the attack Taking out first the missile ship because that's my biggest problem, I guess. Let's slow it down. Uh, where are the missiles? The missiles are in this section. This is going to be an expensive one. Let's slow it down. Alright, so we got one. And let's see what's interesting about this one. It's got two... One shield, two lasers on top, so that should be the hard part. I guess I've... this is costing me a lot, that I know for sure at the moment. Alright, we are lucky. Where's the last ship? Did it get destroyed? I guess it did. Oh no, it's here, it's the Ice Scout. That one is almost done, the Barbarossa. So I guess you can focus on the little Ice Scout. Get your shield the right way. And the Barbarossa is almost done. It's just a matter of time. All right, the Barbarossa has been defeated. And, oh no, it's not the Barbarossa, it's the small eye wing. Alright, the shield generator is still operational and the guns are also operational. That's interesting. Let's just focus on the core of the ship. Oh yeah, we've done it. Now let's see what, no repair costs on this one. This is interesting. This ship is quite strong. And I guess that one, yeah. We should have some damage on this one. 52,000. Oh my god. That was an expensive one. Alright, so we got our shields here and here. Can we make any kind of improvements on this ship? That's a question. That's a question. I would like some more armor, but quite hard to put that in here because most positions are already yeah taken 
We can do some small armor improvements, but that's it with this ship. There isn't room for much more armor. So, I guess we done some great improvements on these two ships. I would love to get one big one. I wonder how much is this one if we sell it. Uh, let's see, sell. Can I sell equipment during, oh. I do want to know how much this ship is worth. It's worth 360 and this one is 900. So we could get a 1 million ship. I guess that could be fun. Let's, let's see if we can do that. Sell this ship. 200. And sell this one. And it's only 500. So I'm only getting 900. No, we're not going to sell that one yet. All right, let's see where we can we go. This is veteran level. So I should be able to do that. And we're going down with one ship, I guess. Maybe we are going to get one. Well, why is it so slow? Problem with the basic system of the ship, it didn't have an FTL drive, so I had to do some adjustments to put that FTL drive in. And that's, that's making it quite fun. All right, now let's see what we've got here. We could get two, we almost can get two of these. All right, let's all power up. People need to work, work, work. And let's see what this unknown contact is. Go to normal speed, sometimes you forget that, but half speed is quite useful for combat all right this is an interesting ship kind of the same layout as i have but a lot more armor and some bunks in it so we are focusing on the front shield taking that frontal shield down tearing to the middle part of that ship it's doing quite the same. So we got the central shield down. The biggest fun is we have more guns than he does. So and I can't think of any way to improve the the flow of the ammo because that's my main problem at the moment and I saw that with rocket ships also that yeah once you fired your first salvo and you didn't have enough uh, yeah didn't do enough damage you would lose the battle This chip is quite armored. But we will take it down. It will take only a few minutes to shoot it down. Speed it up a little bit. Damn, that took some time. Alright, let's see what we can buy now. What can we buy? What's new? I want to buy, 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 buy. I want to buy something. 
This one was also pretty nice. Tried this one. Did die pretty fast. Quick interceptor. That's not what we're looking for. No, it was this one, the Ragnil. But we can also do the Saucer. I've fought this ship a lot. And it's quite an annoying ship because it's once it's got damage on one side, it just turns and uses the other side to shoot. So that way it will always keep fighting. And it's, it's quite... We do need to fill up our ammo. And as you can see, my main ship is already rushing in. Slowing down isn't his strongest cue. And I now see this is quite a slow ship. The saucer. Alright, now let us see what we can do. We also have to look out for the other party. I don't want to come a triple combat situation. And let's first take down the big one. And that was quite easy, I guess. That was too easy. Alright, two more contacts. Let's do some repairs, 7000 only. Problem is between these two chips that the speed difference is quite big. As you can see, my Reaper is moving way faster. So if you build a fleet, you need to do some adjustments. Ooh, this is a shoe breaker. So let's take that one down first. Because he got electric uh, electric beams and those beams, electric bolts and those, those will take down your shield pretty fast. Problem is where's my second ship? Alright, that's one. This one doesn't have a booster, so yeah, this is going to take some time, I guess. Yeah, that took some time. All right, repair the boat chips and let's head for the last one. <coughs> oh, sausage! Yeah, you're not that fast, are you? I guess the saucer isn't the idle combination for these two ships and I do like the Reaper a lot so... Because the Reaper is going through everything like butter. move a little bit closer that way all the other guns can also fire get a more concentrated salvo all right so we've done a few ships in this episode and in the next episode we are going to try to get some of the more expensive ships i hope you everybody uh, enjoyed this episode and yeah see you in the next cosmo tier 
And I guess in the next cross tier we are going to try to get the most expensive ship. Ooh, this also looks nice, a Starhawk. They all look pretty, pretty good. So yeah, we have to pick. And I want to pick the most expensive one. That's this one is 1.6 million. I know there's one. This one, the Beast, kind of ugly. Uh, but we got this one, the Terror almost costing 5 million so yeah we're going, I'm going to try and get the most expensive ship out of this and you'll see that one at the next episode of Cosmeteers. See you next video and leave your comment down below and if you're not already subscribed push the subscribe button push the little bell and see you in the next video.